Well, we've all heard the term emotional roller coaster when it's hard to maintain control of our emotions, our thoughts, or even our actions. Part of breaking that pattern is working on the connection between thoughts and emotions, according to experts. So here to help us do that is counselor and leadership coach Namita Purahead. It's so good to meet you. Same here. Thank and you for having me. Michelle. We've all been there, right? Where we said something, did something that we regret in a moment of um, emotion. But if it becomes a pattern, then that's a problem, mm -hmm. correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. So, how would you describe an emotional roller coaster? What does out of control look like? Well, I've been out of control like various times in my life, and uh, could be excessive anger. You want to, you know, throw things around, or you're getting excessive breathing, or you're having breathing difficulties. You're having difficulty focusing on things. You're getting too lost in your thoughts. You have a foggy brain. You're crying too much. You know, all of these different emotions, even difficulty sleeping, and also a lot of different physical things that may happen mm. and overtake your body. The racing heart and yes. that kind of stuff yes. that you may feel. And even weird stuff tough. that may not show up in your medical tests, you know, like hair loss or, you know. I've heard about that. Double vision. Yeah, like that, that kind of stuff. And you should consider that if it's not something that you can find a physical, um, Yes. Physical cause for it. So what, what are the reasons that this happens to us? I've gone through this stuff, as I've mentioned before, and major reason for this happening is you're in complete misalignment at various levels. So spiritually, you're in misalignment with your identity. So you've lost connection with your essence. You have lost connection with God. At a physical layer, you're misaligned with your body. You're not eating well, not sleeping well, not getting enough sunlight, not fresh food, those kind of things. At you know, layer two that you could talk about is your etheric body, you know, the prana in your mm -hmm, body. Mm -hmm. And that usually gets misaligned when you have your thoughts that are unprocessed thoughts. And also when you're misaligned with your inherent nature. So you are something, but you're living a totally different life. Yeah, maybe you're doing a job that really is against yes. what you're I always used to just call that my insides not matching my outsides yes as <laughs> that's simple a way as simpler that. way I mean, probably too rudimentary but we all know when we're there when something yes. just doesn't work so how do we recognize that and repair it so that we don't have those moments of just feeling so fritzed yeah, so say, you know, if you're like one thing is it's like a general feeling where you're feeling, you know, lost and out of control. But let's take an incident. Say, you know, your children have laundry all over the floor. They don't put it in the laundry basket. And that's something that really gets to you. Mm -hmm. You know, there are two things you want to look at. The first thing you want to look at is, you know, what is the story I'm telling myself about this whole uh, incident? Is it as bad, as awful as volcanic lava flying all, all around my house? Or is it as simple as, okay, there's laundry on the floor, I need to train my children to you know, pick this right. up. Usually the stories we tell ourselves are awful. There's a lot of awfulizing that's happening. And because of this awfulizing, you know, there's a lot of uh, physical reactions that are happening. So you want to catch yourself in the moment. And that's such a good example because I think it's <laughs> easy in those times to say, oh my gosh, I'm sick of saying this, nobody listens to me. Me. They're not respectful. Look <laughs> at this mess. Blah, 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 blah. Yes. And that doesn't get you anywhere. But what you just said, okay, we have to, you know, make sure that this is something that happens in our household. How can I productively deal with that is a different story. So the different story you want to tell is that, hey, if a volcanic eruption on a scale of one to hundred <laughs> was hundred, you know, why is my reaction at a hundred right now? You know, I probably can do like a five or a ten. <laughs> I can dial this back. <laughs> I can dial this back, but you want to catch yourself in the moment. So there's a lot of emotions that are going to show up. There's a lot of physical stuff that's going to happen. Like I know I've learned how to catch myself in the moment for a lot of things and I'm still work in progress. But you know, you're probably getting your ears getting hot, your heart racing again, your stomach churning, you're mm -hmm. feeling like puking or, or you feel like you know, your jaw t tightening up, your hands tightening up. And you want to learn you know, to catch yourself in the moment. Initially, it's going to be more hindsight. Yes, I was feeling like that at that time. You know, at another time, you would be observing yourself in the moment, but yet finding it hard to control your reaction. But the more you practice observing yourself, the third time it will be like, oh, my heart's racing, my ears are getting hot, my shoulders tightening, jaw fists, you know, all of these things tightening. And I think I need to take a break. <laughs> Just pause for a bit. Pause. And the and thing move I like away. about what you're saying is that it's not about stuffing down the feelings that you're having. It's about recognizing them and then giving yourself that moment of grace so that you can make a decision about what to do instead of just being compelled by emotion as though you have no choice. Yes.
And what helps in that moment is when you've learned how to recognize it and take a pause, again, you don't want to start thinking again about how do I respond. You want to do stuff that gets you out of your mind, you know, stuff that, you know, with your body. You probably want to, you know, it's easier to clean a closet in this time because it yes. gets you out of your oh, mind. You can really get some stuff done with that energy, can't <laughs> yes. you? Yes. It's pantry cleaning like that. What are some of the everyday things that we can practice so that we're more aware of what we're feeling and why and make more conscious choices about how to behave? So again, I would go back to like the five basic layers I'll refer to my Hindu upbringing here. So the first thing is develop a spiritual connection, like, you know, connect your essence with God. That kind of helps you calm down because that's the only permanent thing that exists in all this impermanence. So that gives you a lot of perspective. Second, people can do that however it works for yes, them. It can be yes. nature, it can be their own faith, it could be, you know, yes. whatever you want it to be. Yes, mantra meditation is something I do that helps me. Um, at a physical level, you know, for your body, you want to have fresh food that really keeps you calm and vegetarian if it helps you. Uh, the second thing is getting enough sleep. You know, we're not sleeping enough. Amen. <laughs> yes. Sec another thing is you want to be aligned with your nature. You want to know yourself really well and do stuff that aligns really well with you. Then we have a lot of these unprocessed, unresolved emotions, unresolved you know, uh, stories, relationships, things like that. You want to use your in intelligence layer to calm that emotional, that mental layer down. So you want to tell yourself proper stories through wisdom, you know, like seeing things in the proper perspective. So when you address these five things, you're a much calmer person on a daily basis. I love that. I love that. And that sense of mastery over yourself is something that, that you can enjoy. Yes. That makes you feel good about yourself. Thank you very much. Uh, Namita teaches a course at Bellevue College on this very subject. Take charge of your emotions. For info on that class and more resources with dealing with emotions, please check out our website. We have stuff for you there. Next up, starting the school year off right, how to get a good night's sleep, just like we were discussing when we come back. Thank you.